Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite features that came out of Google I.O. 2018 as far as it comes to the Google Assistant. And that's the fact that we now have eight different voices to select from. So that's two of the original ones and now we have six additional ones to be able to actually, you know, change, select and use. So we're going to check them out and see what the new sounds, well, the new voices sound like. And not only that, I'm going to share with you guys on how to get this thing running on your Google Home as well as on your mobile device and all the different places that you interact with your Google Assistant. This is TK, let's check it out. The main interaction that we have with our Google Assistant has always been either on our mobile phone or in our Google Home, meaning the mini or the regular or the max. Changing the voice historically has been you just go into your settings, you go under preferences within the actual Google Home application, and then you go under preferences, you go under assistant voice. Now, in the past, we only had two. We now have additionally six new ones that came out yesterday. Again, it was announced at I.O. and it's available on our devices. So first thing we want to do is these are the original voices. Hi, I'm your Google assistant here to help you throughout your day. And now you can choose from different voices for me to speak with. So by default, those are the two main ones we had. And now we have additional six. So let's go ahead and go through them. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. And now you can choose from different voices for me to speak with. So those two are pretty cool. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. And now you can choose from different voices for me to speak with. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. And now you can choose from different voices for me to speak with. Now, selecting the voice is not going to be that hard. You select whichever one you want, you step out of it, and you give it a few seconds for it to actually apply. And the main thing that's going to change, obviously, is that if I press and hold here, weather. Right now in Santa Clarita, it's 60 and clear. Today. So you'll notice the voice took over right away on here. Let's go ahead and check it out on our Google Home. Okay, Google. Okay. Weather. Currently in Santa Clarita, it's 60 and clear. Today, it'll be... So you'll notice it took over right away. I've had it where it, for some reason it takes an additional seconds for where the old voice is still there. But just keep in mind, as long as you're logged into the same account on your actual device. So if you go into your Google Home application, this is the Google Home, and it's the same account logged in as what you have used here, you're going to be set. The voice changing here will automatically apply to everything and any uh, experience that you're using the assistant from. So for me, I can go back here. Let's go back and I'm going to change it over here. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. So you notice right there, I didn't actually get the assistant. I need to go out once, go down, go home. Weather. Right now in Santa Clarita, it's... You notice it took over right away. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. What's a computer's favorite beat? An algo rhythm. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. I like that one. So overall, very simple. Again, go under your application in the Google Home, go under Preferences, go under Assistant Voice, and then select whichever voice works for you uh, to your preference. And you can change them as often as you'd like. Just keep in mind, changing them when you're not on the same Wi-Fi or at home around your ecosystem may take a little bit longer, but overall, it's still a lot of fun to be able to customize these things. Changing the voice is actually very, very personal. As you know, when you talk to the assistant and I've been talking to the assistant for many years, um, I've actually been used to using the one voice. So for me, I'm probably gonna stick with the original one, but if you like to change it and you'd like to be able to go to a different one, they're definitely really cool, very easy to change and very easy to customize. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video.